Alright. Alright. Chatika, what are you doing? Go get them! Okay then, uh... Well... <laughs> Alright. Hey, guy! Wow, that didn't really do anything. Okay. Alright, alright. Man, it's a good thing these people that are on the planet for almost nine years... Eight years, 200-something days! 237, maybe? I don't remember. I remember it was seven hours. I don't remember 27, so... Maybe it wasn't 237 days. Or was it? Was it 236? These people didn't have I don't neural know. decay. They're crazy. I don't know. My father wouldn't know. let this go on. Something is very wrong. Can I talk to you? You kill them, but there are more every day. They want to fight, but I just want to go home. She's lost it. We need to find someone who can make sense of this. Well, apparently... I mean, it makes perfect sense already, Jacob. It's Space Ebola, you know? Space Ebola with... With thermal clips from nine years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Eight years, 200-something days, and seven hours. Uh, Strip for parts. Tech's wearing out. Those hunters must be laying on the pressure. Strip for parts? It looks pretty intact to me. And how the fuck did that get here? I don't recall seeing those any, like, two years ago, let alone nine. Is that a settlement? They better be friendlier than the beach group. I need answers. Okay. Well, we will get our answers, Jacob. These people seem calm, but they're part of the same group as the ones that attacked us. There aren't any men here. Maybe it affects genders differently? It makes males get violent. That's possible, but the woman on the beach said the exiled ones came back as hunters. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To... decay. You are cursed with his face. You certainly seem to have a way with words. You heard her. I have his face. My father forced the crew to eat toxic food. What the hell? Man, it's like that Hansel and Gretel movie. Look at these spoiled food stores. They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. I can't talk to you. I don't want punishing. Go away. You are like him. You will keep us here. He has a cruel face. His cruel face. What the hell? Somebody had to push them to make that. That's borderline worship. He keeps us, protects us, and we please him like he demands. Man, I'm in the wrong profession. The hunters will kill you. They fight because he exiled them and waited too long. He is bad. He has a bad face like the other. Like him. You'll hurt me. Yeah, th yeah. Very, very scary. Where the fuck was that thing? Oh. Your captain demands obedience, huh? I, okay. Who the fuck said that? Oh! Welcome to the party! Alright. Chatika! Go for the... The visual sensor modules! Alright. Hey, why don't you take a seat? Right over there. Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. Alright, what the fuck is this guy doing? I guess he was getting shocked. Alright. Also, don't understand why robots and stuff have a health He's bar. He's gunning down his own crew to keep control? That's horrible. Well, that would make them hate him. Maybe it was just for defense. Yeah. Please, here. You could end it. You have his face. But you fight his machines. You might stop this. This, I forget how to read, but this was the start. What he promised, and what they did to us. We need the sky. Take us back to the sky. Hmm. Alright. Hmm. Jacob, what does it say? It's a crew logbook. Some of them thought the beacon repair was taking too long. They were afraid they'd run out of supplies and lose their minds to the decay. My father restricted the ship food for himself and the other officers so they wouldn't be affected. Everybody else had to eat the toxic food and hope for treatment later. The rest is a casualty list. A few mutinied over the decision. My father and his officers turned the mechs on them. The beacon was fixed after a year, so the plan must have worked. Why no signal? 
those weren't the last entries on the casualty list. More incidents, harsh punishments. It's like they're cattle or toys. In a year, all the male crew members are flagged as exiled or dead. They separated out the women, assigned them to officers like pets. And after the beacon is fixed, the officers appear in the casualties too. After. My father took control and didn't stop it. Anything in there about whether the effects of the toxic food can be treated? Nothing. But it seems like the right call. If everyone gets it, who's left to fix the beacon? You'd never get out. But they did fix it. And the signal wasn't sent until now. I'm starting to see why. Does it say why he separated the men and women? Or is it as bad as it seems? No, it turns to gibberish. Maybe the men got violent early on, but from the state of this place, I'd say the hunter thing is recent. What he allowed here, Shepard? I don't see any justification. We haven't seen any other officers. He killed them? There were five after the crash. Medical, engineering, bridge staff. Should have had no problem fixing the beacon and keeping people safe. All killed within the same week. About a month after the beacon was repaired. It's looking like he only activated the beacon because the men have come back ready to fight. He let this happen, and now it's biting him in the ass. Nine years. Eight years, 200 days. Why didn't he set it right? I need to find this man. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Tally, let's go. Uh, set to explode. Oh boy, I can't wait to play Connect the Dots here. Okay, uh, C, 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 where was that? Yeah, there it is. Uh, battery. T. All right, then go for that one, and then swoop that around. And it'd be a shame if we didn't have sh shield gates, right, guys? <sighs> if only they followed their Mass Effect 1 lore. This is Captain Ronald Taylor. Thank God you're here. My crew went insane. I only just got free. God damn it. It's really him. Just got free. He's covering his ass. Hmm. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, what happened from, like, explosives? It looks like the old bodies were posed like a warning. The newer bodies were just left wherever they fell. The hunters started fighting back. So anyway, yeah, the explosions in Mass Effect 1 partially ignored shields. So what's the dealio with that? Like, even in the codex, it's like... You know, certain things should not be hitting the shields. Like, uh, you know, like if someone were to punch you in the face i.e. like a husk or something, then it shouldn't take away your shield. It should ignore it. I automated my defenses after the crew turned violent. They keep attacking. I had no choice. He had plenty of choices. A little late to blame his victims. So yeah, it should ignore the shields if uh, like a husk or something is trying to punch you just because uh, the way the shields are designed, you know, you don't want to sit down on a chair and have it fling out from under you. And that's exactly why, you know, something like a punch wouldn't work either. But, you know, whatever. Yeah, I don't think they've read their codex. Alright, uh, damn it, this fucking cover doesn't work. Get out of here. Wait, you're not done? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, hey, 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 hey. I don't know how I hit that guy. It seemed like I was aiming between the legs there. Alright. Boom. Okay. <clears throat> Man. Well, I did reach an hour, but you know what? I'm going to wait until it's exactly 2 p.m. How about that? That's... That is... Four more minutes! Four! Oh, shit! Oh, 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 oh. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, my God. I wish this game had a fucking jump dodge or something. Okay. Man, Tally seems to be shooting really slow with that thing. Let's go grab these spare parts. Oh, they're right here. I thought they were back here. <clears throat> what else is over here? <clears throat> I thought there was a thing. Oh, shit. Hey, Booker, catch. Oh. Uh. What? It didn't do anything! Was there supposed to be a biotic explosion? Because, uh, it didn't seem like anything happened. All right, and my phone is going off. I'm just going to ignore that. 95% of the time, it's fucking telemarketers or whatever. And then some, like, poll. It's like, hey, did you know something about police? Did this and this and this and this? Um, go away. Stop calling, please. Alright. Alright. Be my luck. 
Someone called me to be like, hey! Thermal clips! They're gone and heat sinks are coming back! Yeah, I'd love to get that call. Alright. <clears throat> I guess that's, uh. Is that a, oh, wait. Heavy. Pi oh, I knew I saw something! Give me this. Yes! Heavy pistol damage. Oh, hey, what are you doing? Hey, sit the fuck down. Chris Hansen here with NBC. He had his fun, and now he wants out. Son of a bitch. Yeah. What a scumbag. Hello! So why don't these mechs use uh, heat sinks? Like, I, I'm I mentioned this before, right? Where it's like, they're computers. So they should be shooting when they have a, you know, the highest probability of hitting their target. Thus, they would probably shoot either much more slowly than every other enemy in the game, um, or they would be firing much more faster because you would, I, you should probably expect the computer to actually be decent at targeting things. One or the other. Throwing people away. This thing is not my father. So yeah, they don't appear to be shooting very fast. I mean, they kind of shoot just like everyone else. So, why the fuck aren't they using heat sinks? Ugh. Man, I tell you. And how does how did the mechs hold on to thermal clips? I don't I don't think they have fucking pockets. What they got RoboCop clips in their fucking their legs? I don't know. Alright. Man, I wish I could change this camera angle over the other shoulder during certain parts. It'd be great. Oh. Jatika, go for the eyes! Alright. Booker. Alright. Oh, there's gonna be a mech in a minute here. Maybe I should go back. Yep, yep, there it is. There it is! I don't have time for these games. Alright. Uh... I don't know why I would throw a singularity on that guy, but... Sure, what? Oh gosh. And she's gone. That's not good. That is not good at all. Okay, turn on that. On it. Switch out. Uh, okay, we need to. Mm, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Shit! Well, I'm probably gonna die here. We need to kill these guys and take their cover. Yeah, don't look at me, you fuckwit. Uh, no, 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 no! Go in the wall! Oh my gosh, the cover almost fucking got me killed. Okay. Oh gosh. There's another one over here. Chitika, get him! Guys, get over here. God damn it! Damn it! I'm sending you back to the plantation! Alright. Get rid of that guy quickly. Oh wait, is there a guy behind? Is that a fucking enemy? No. Okay. Alright. Get out of here. Oh my- He is gone again. Are you kidding me? I know he's an adept. But I mean, serial. Like, serially. Alright, now we can take this guy on uh, all scenariously. Alright. Right. That was that a biotic explosion? Like, I can't even tell in this game. Like, I honestly cannot tell. Okay, so I guess it was. Okay, so it makes a loud noise when it explodes. Go figure, right? Enough with the toys. I need to look my father in the eye and hear him justify this. Yes, make him justify it. Well, it seems like I'm actually near the very end of the mission anyway, so I guess maybe I should just keep going, huh? Yeah, I don't think the save file will be... I don't think anything will really happen going a little longer, huh? I hope the end's right over here. Just some... Right through the... Oh, yep, I think it is. I think it is. PDA? What's this? Oh, I didn't even actually do anything. Okay, yeah, I guess here's the end then. Hello. Uh, I guess he doesn't have any shit I can steal. You're here. I knew a real squad would blow through just fine. Sorry if the mech scuffed your pants. I'll get you something nice when we get back to Alliance Space. I've got to have some back pay coming. What about your crew, acting captain? Total loss. The toxic food turned them wild. They propped me up here in some kind of ritual behavior. Waiting for a chance to signal has been hell. 
That's the best you can do? You let all your people talk back like that? <laughs> Who are you exactly? Hmm. Well, at least he knows I'm the leader. That's good. Doesn't matter. You're running a very questionable setup here, Captain. Explain. Of course. Uh, it was chaos after the crash, and the crew never really accepted me as captain. They rebelled and trapped us here. Once they started eating the toxic food, I couldn't control them. And I couldn't get to the beacon. Just stop. We know what you did to your crew. Why let this go ten years? Who the hell are you? Taylor. Lieutenant Jacob Taylor. Jacob? My Jacob? Not who you expected, Captain? I was hoping not to have to explain this to him. Or anyone, really. You have to understand, this isn't me. The realities of command, they change you. I wasn't ready for that. I made sure you were taught right. Before I left, I hoped to leave it at that. I'm not biting, Captain. At some point, you chose to do this to your crew. You. What was that moment? I want to know that there was an actual reason. There was resistance to the plan. Mutiny. We had to take a hard line to keep order. And things settled down. As the decay set in, we made sure the crew were comfortable. Some even seemed happier. Ignorance is bliss, right? And they were grateful for guidance. Like an instinct. Pure authority was... easy. At first. Months in, the effect lowered inhibitions. They got territorial. Rank, protocol, they couldn't understand. We had to establish dominance. After a while, the perks seemed normal. That's it? You created a harem and played king? Ten years in a juvenile fantasy? Eight years, 200 I days. I can't point to where it all went wrong. But when the beacon was ready, revealing what happened didn't seem like a good idea. What happened to the other officers? Anders found his conscience a little late to step back. He had an accident. Things got tense. End of the day, I was the one with the mechs. I got a little basic in setting examples. But I was kind to my people once things settled down. Seemed like I'd earned some peace. You fought over people like they were toys. Things. The stores from the ship couldn't last forever. You had to know this would end one day. Dining for one can really stretch things out. Besides, I can think of a lot worse retirement plans than stripping down and joining the droolers. That was before the hunters, of course. Dumb or not, I'd feel it if they got their hands on me now. They want blood. I'd prefer to keep it. <laughs> it's all about you. Everything. You didn't feel any responsibility to get out of here for the sake of family? I gave him a good start. He was a smart kid and was better off not following me. We figured that out a long time before I took jobs in deep space. And after things escalated here, it seemed best to just disappear off the galactic map. Till you needed someone to save your ass. What triggered the males to change and threaten you? This planet has some strange cycles to it. I've seen some plants around I never saw before. Odd weather. Maybe some just adapted a little too well. And if you treat them like animals, big shock. They become animals. There's no way I'm letting this slide, Taylor. A price will be paid. How much? What kind of math can balance these lives? His life isn't worth pulling the damn trigger. I don't know who you are, because you're not any father I remember. Maybe we go arrange pickup for the rest of the survivors while the acting captain deals with the hole we punched through his max. Now wait, I'm supposed to get rescued. The crazy ones, you don't know what they'll do to me. I think we've got a pretty good idea. My father was a different man, Shepard. A good man. Wish I'd found him. Jacob! You are a better man dead, as far as I'm concern you still Jacob You got knocked the fuck out man Alliance ships are inbound to pick up survivors commander we can be long gone by the time they get here
Don't even give them the tail lights. Roger that. What do you mean it wasn't you? Jacob, if I had leaked the information about the Gernsback, I would be smiling at your resolution of the situation. I am not smiling. Nothing goes through this ship, my ship, without a report to you. I had no more reason to believe Jacob's father was alive than he did. But I'm happy to know the situation is behind... Fine. You didn't forward it. So who did? I did. Figures. Who else could get into Cerberus channels? It was hardly classified, just obscure. There was a time when it mattered to you. Sending this along seemed like keeping an old promise. I keep my promises. Miranda, we'll discuss your liberal interpretation of security protocol in private. Shepard, Jacob. You good with this, Jacob? It's all bull, Shepard. Captain Taylor's body has some catching up to do, but the man died a long time ago. I've already dealt with that. I guess he was a good enough father that even he can't screw up what he taught me. You had no idea Miranda was behind this. No, she's got a good memory. Selective, but good. I haven't thought about those days in a long time. Can't figure which promise she meant, though. Not sure I really want to know. She requires a better man than I. Come on, we got work to do. Aye, Commander. Shepard. Thanks for that. Any time, Jacob. Yay! Now let's go see if he has any special bonus dialogue after the fact. Thanks for diverting to the Gurns back, Shepard. I appreciate being able to clean up that mess. Maybe not the best way to learn about the relatives, but I'm glad it's done. What do you need? I'm interested in getting to know you better. Already? I'm not big on forcing these talks, Shepard. We'll talk later. Commander. Okay, now I guess I'll just buy those, uh, those upgrades here. <clears throat> Alright, heavy pistol, 30% pistol damage. Okay. Uh, oh, this is another good one. Heavy pistols sometimes deal double damage. That is... That is pretty sweet. Uh, aw, oh, no more... Oh, wait, I need... Uh, okay, I need one more stuff, though. Armor. And <clears throat> no more prototypes. Okay, then. So I guess that's enough Mass Effect 2 for today. Um... Actually, Kelly might have something. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. All right, your, your too, my too small what? My too small what? From Morlan, I am sorry, my mate. I leave you for a Krogan because you are not endowed as good for your species. What? Do you fear these words? Morlan's famous shop sells many enhancements online. They're not restricted by Citadel trading regulations. Whether you require hormone, hormone augmentation, cybernetic enhancement, or gene what? Gene biotic? Xenografting. Morlon has many things you'll be pleased with. All species and gender order online from Morlon's famous extra net, extra night, extra net site. Hot linked from this message. Product availability varies by local trade regulations. Something, 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 something. Pro, yeah, okay. Or, who the fuck is Olar Han? Shepard, they say you're alive. That you cheated death. That's sending you this isn't just a pointless exercise as part of my therapy. They say a lot of things. I'm still alive. She still isn't. I hear you killed Benezia. Nicely done. Another woman I helped kill. If my information did any good... They want me to thank you. The Rachni would have killed us all had you not shown up. It would have been right. I mean, not her. Why did you show up then and not before? They think that they can fix me. They have the technology. But maybe you're not really back. Maybe I died. Maybe I didn't close that door in time. Maybe I held it open to give her a chance. And the Rachni ripped my suit open, and I died of exposure there on peak 15. Maybe I'm a martyr. And this is an ugly hallucination before a glorious afterlife. But if I'm not, then thank you, Han Olar.
How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything. Alright, so that is enough Mass Effect 2 for today, and uh, I will see you guys next time.